This is a demonstration of Navtech's automated mobile mapping collection system. The system is rigged to a vehicle and consists of multiple sensors. The sensors include 360 video collection, a rotating 360 degree LiDAR collection system for 3D data points, high resolution multiple cameras, and a GPS IMU system for geo positioning the vehicle at all times. Here is an example of the 3D data points collected with the rotating LiDAR system. All points are collected in real time as the vehicle is traveling down the road. There is no need to stop to collect any data. The LiDAR system collects 1.5 million points per second for high-density, highly detailed point cloud. In addition, each point is registered with reflectivity for easy location of lane markings and signs. Here is an example of the advantages of a ground collection technology system. This data would be impossible to collect from an aerial survey due to overhanging structures. This is another example of the high-density 3D point collection system. Keep in mind what you're seeing here is all 3D data points. No surfaces or processing has been performed. This is just raw data as it was collected. As you can see, you have all the storefronts, light posts, trees. You can see all the details on the facades. This is Union Station in Chicago. Keep in mind this is all 3D data sets, not just 2D facades. It's all 3D depth, so we can go behind objects. We're going to pick a couple of data points to make some quick measurements. We'd like to find out how high the columns are at Chicago's Union Station. We find out that they are 11.3 meters high. In addition, every point is geolocated, so any point we pick, we can find its latitude, longitude, and height above the ellipsoid. Navtech's mobile mapping system also records 360-degree video such that we have a spherical image anywhere along the route. We can actually look in any direction, including up and down. We then take advantage of the fact that we record both imagery and 3D data points at the same time and can superimpose the two together. And now, instead of just having intensity per point, we can overlay the two and compute an RGB value for every LiDAR point. So here is a color point cloud generated from both the 360 video and the 360 LiDAR collection.